Hi, it's Mike from the Big Rock Ranch. We're going to talk about an exciting topic today, and actually it's one that is not much fun at all. It's transmissions. When you buy a tractor, there are several different transmission options that you'll be looking at, and you'll have to make a decision on which one you want. And I'm going to talk about the basic transmission options, and there's lots of them out there. Uh, so you'll have a uh, knowledge so you'll get what you need to do what you want to do. The earliest tractors like this old Ford had either a three or a four speed forward and one speed reverse and it was a whole lot better deal than the previous generation of farm equipment which was a draft horse which could go forward but had trouble going backwards. So these old tractors had, had just like I said three or four speeds going forward and run one reverse and the only time you'd ever use reverse is when you're backing up to an implement and you'd pull a plow or a disc with it. Um, from that we went to a new transmission where they put another gear in back of the main three or four speeds to give you a high and a low in each one of those speeds. This older John Deere tractor here has two ranges, four gears in each range and one reverse. So you've got four gears forward, high and low in each one of those gears for eight speeds forward the reason I'm telling you this now, there are still tractors, the lower end, the economy models, that have this very same transmission. I call it a crash box. It's bulletproof. It's been out forever. All the manufacturers have used 8x2 transmissions. Uh, they work great if all you're doing is hooking up like a brush hog or a plow or a disc or something and going in one direction all the time. If you've got a front end loader, they have problems. They'll work with a front end loader. The problem is they're not synchronized forward to reverse. So if you're going forward with the loader into the dirt pile, picking up the dirt, and then you want to go back, you have to come to a complete stop, shift into reverse, and then your speed going back will probably be a lot slower than your speed forward because the gears are not matched. Well, we've talked about the 8x2 transmission. There's another transmission that's available on some of the current model tractors. It's actually a 9x3. And the way you get 9 by 3 instead of having high and low range, you have high, medium, and low range. So instead of having 8 speeds forward, it gives you 9 speeds forward. You have 3 gears in 3 ranges, and you have 3 gears reverse. That's a current offering too. Not a bad transmission, but again, it's better if you're just going forward in one direction. With the advent of the front end loader, there was a need to go forward and reverse at the same speed. And that's when a shuttle transmission came along. What a shuttle transmission is, is a set of synchronized forward gears and reverse gears, which enables you to go forward at a set speed, clutch, and then shift into reverse. So if you're using a loader, you go into your dirt pile, clutch, shift into reverse, and go back much much better transmission for a loader operation. After the shuttle transmission came out manufacturers took it one step forward and used electronics and hydraulics to make a power shuttle. A power shuttle transmission is the next generation of shuttle shift transmissions and what a power shuttle enables you to do is go forward and reverse without clutching. So if you've got bad knees or you just don't want the hassle of clutching all day, you just shift it from forward to reverse as many times as you want to. And most of the tractors have sensors that slow the tractor down if you're going fast forward and you throw it in reverse, they'll gradually slow you down and move you into reverse. It's a great setup if you do a lot of loader work. The final transmission I'd like to talk about today is hydrostat. Hydrostat transmissions are wonderful. You push a lever down and either rock it back and forth or you have two pedals, one for forward and one for reverse. You go back and forward at any speed at any time. Hydros are great if you're using a loader. I have a hydro on my tractor. I use it for loader work all the time and I love it. They're great transmissions. The downside to a hydro is they do build heat. If you're using a brush hog a lot, a hydro transmission will build a lot of heat. Having said that, I really believe from my experience of 20 years in the tractor business, you'll not see a greater failure rate from hydrostatic drive tractors versus geared shuttle transmissions. It, hydros will leak oil about the same time you'll have to put a clutch in a shuttle transmission. So the maintenance on both of those to, in my mind is fairly equal. 
And in either case, you have to split the tractor apart. It takes a person that really knows what they're doing to fix them, and they both can be repaired, but it's a fairly big repair bill. So, rule of thumb, all of this about transmissions to tell you. If, you're, if all you're doing is brush hogging and running around and around the field at a constant speed, the 8x2 or 9x3 transmission is fine. If you're using a loader, you probably don't want the 8x2 or the 9x3. You probably want to move up to at least a clutch shuttle. If you're doing a lot of loader work and, and it's hard on your legs all day doing it, then you might want to go to a power shuttle. But the cat's meow if you're doing loader work and you're doing it a lot is hydrostatic drive. Now there's one more transmission coming and it hasn't been out long enough for me to know too much about it yet, but it's coming in your cars and it's coming in tractors as well, and that's a CVT, constantly variable transmission. They're awesome, they're high tech, and there's a few of them out, but not enough to know yet the reliability or how well the operation's gonna be. As more get on the market, I'll do another video and talk about them.